Hi everyone, welcome to the session. This is the accounting podcast number two. Under this, uh, I'll be uh, discussing about preparation of company account. Okay, uh, this is as per uh, IAS 1, which is uh, International Accounting Standard uh, Presentation of Financial uh, Statement. Uh, uh, basically, under this, uh, we will be discussing about uh, preparation of financial statement, uh, which is a financial statement of limited liability companies. Uh, as per uh, the regulatory framework for published accounts, uh, which is IAS 1, uh, which listed the various statements uh, required in a complete set of financial statements. So you need to uh, produce uh, various uh, sets of uh, financial statements. Uh, this includes uh, a statement of financial position at the end of the period. Uh, then we have a statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income for the period. Then you need to prepare a statement of changes in equity for the period. Then we have statement of cash flows for the period and also in addition to that we have to provide notes to the accounts uh, comprising a summary of the significant accounting policies and other explanatory information uh, now i'm not going to discuss in detail the differences between a limited liability company and a sole trader or partnership uh, basically when you take a limited liability company uh, it's a separate legal entity if you want to uh, if you want to uh, sue a company, you can uh, straight away you can file a case against the company because it's a separate legal entity. And also, when you take a company, the owners will be the shareholders, but uh, the, the company will be managed by uh, the directors appointed by the shareholders because uh, the directors become the caretakers of the shareholders' investment. Okay, and also when you take the liability of a company. Uh, liability of a shareholders, their liability is limited to the amount of money they have invested in the company. Uh, and also when you take a company, a uh, company has to pay corporate income tax on the profit earned because it's a separate legal entity. Uh, then the shareholders take their uh, profits by way of dividends. Okay, So dividends will be paid to shareholders uh, in order to distribute profit. And also uh, the company uh, is not uh, affected by any change of ownership unless it is merged with another company or become a sub dairy company okay so these are the basic uh, differences uh, i'm not going to discuss in detail uh, now as for the regulatory framework we have to uh, prepare publish accounts uh, uh, consisting of uh, four reports that which i explained to you uh, now we should know the format of the uh, statement of profit or loss account and the comprehensive income uh, basically, uh, the format is, uh, is different from a sole trader and a partnership. Now, a sole trader, when it comes to sole trader and partnership, we need to provide a detailed, uh, detailed uh, financial statement. But when it comes to uh, a company accounts, uh, for, publish, for publish accounts, for company accounts, we have to provide a summary of the, uh, summary of the uh, information. Uh, now let's look at the uh, format of statement of profit or loss. Basically, we will have a revenue account, the revenue. Then from revenue, we have to deduct the cost of sales. We should deduct cost of sales. So here, the cost of sales will uh, provide you uh, what you call the detail amount. Uh, not the detail amount, the summary. Summary will be given. Then you will uh, derive at the uh, gross profit. Now, when you say uh, cost of sales, what does it include in the cost of sales? So you need to provide uh, notes to the uh, cost of sales in the uh, financial statement. Basically, cost of sales uh, means uh, those are the directly attributable cost. Uh, these are the direct costs incurred in uh, providing a uh, product or uh, service. Okay, so therefore, uh, this cost will include all directly attributable cost. So basically, when you take a retail company, buying and selling company, so it will consist of opening inventory of finished goods, then it will have purchases, uh, then uh, it will have, uh, if you have incurred any cost relating to purchases like uh, carriage inputs, transportation, custom duties, uh, these kind of things also will be added uh, to the purchases, then you need to deduct the uh, closing inventory of finished goods. 
So that's how you arrive at the cost of sales. But when it comes to manufacturing company, in addition to finished goods, there will be raw materials, raw material operating stocks and raw material closing stocks. Then you will have to add all the uh, factory expenses, all direct expenses uh, like, uh, for example, the factory utility cost, electricity and water cost. Then uh, the, the direct wages of production staff, those who are involved in the uh, production process, those costs also you need to uh, add. In addition to that, uh, we have uh, depreciation of factory assets like machineries and equipment. Those costs also should be included uh, in the cost of sales. And also discount received. Uh, these are also deducted from cost of sales because uh, they, these cost of sales uh, are directly associated with the purchases of uh, raw materials or inventories. So therefore it has to be part of the cost of sales. So basically, uh, those are the things included in the cost of sales. Uh, I will discuss a, a, a complete uh, uh, question uh, relating to this, uh, how to uh, segregate all these uh, details uh, into these headings. Uh, now afterwards, after deducting the cost of sales from revenue, you will have the gross profit. Then we need to add other income. So when you say other income, uh, we have uh, like uh, sale of uh, what you call, uh, if you have sold any assets, uh, the profit or loss on disposal of assets, uh, plus uh, like if you have uh, bank interest, uh, if you have fixed deposits on that, you have earned uh, investment income, uh, those income also included on, under the uh, other income category. Uh, uh, then afterwards, we need to deduct the expenses, the main expenses will be uh, distribution cost, then the administration expenses. Okay, so under distribution cost, uh, these are deducted uh, from from the total gross profit. Uh, this includes expenses uh, associated with uh, transferring the finished product or services to customers, and also the sales and marketing cost, uh, like uh, delivery cost, the depreciation of uh, running cost of delivery vehicles the sales and promotion uh, expenses, advertising expenses, uh, any uh, uh, rent incurred on uh, warehouses and uh, any uh, advertising cost, promotion cost, uh, any uh, discount allowed uh, to customers uh, because uh, these costs are incurred in the transfer of goods to the customers. So therefore these costs also will have to be deducted then commission on sales, delivery vehicle expenses, uh, those kind of things like depreciation of delivery vehicles, those costs will be uh, categorized under distribution cost. Then uh, other cost will be the administration expenses. Okay, so these are also deducted from the uh, gross profit. Uh, these costs uh, includes basically, uh, basically such as rent uh, and rates of office building, and general expenses and depreciation of office equipment and like uh, if you have a head office so head office staff salaries so these kind of expenses will be included in the uh, administration expenses and also like uh, uh, some administration expenses like audit fees uh, professional ex expenses uh, business studies so these kind of things uh, will also included on the on, under the administration expenses uh, then, then we have the, uh, the financial cost, the, the financial cost uh, also deducted from the uh, gross profit and other income. Uh, these are the costs basically uh, servicing uh, the debt, including the interest uh, payment on bank overdraft uh, and bank loans. Uh, these costs are shown as a, a note to the statement of profit or loss and other contingency income. The detail uh, dot, total value will be deducted from the on the face of the income statement. So after deducting the financial cost, finance cost, you will arrive at profit on ordinary activities before tax. Then uh, from that total, we have to deduct the corporate tax. It's a different calculation. Then after deducting the corporate tax, you will arrive at profit on ordinary activities after tax. So these are the things uh, to be included on the face of the uh, income statement or the profit or loss account 
uh, under IA is 1, which is the uh, presentation of financial statements.